A G-72 tank crew assigned to the Russian Army Southern Military District prepares to leave the sparse cover of a wooded area somewhere in eastern Ukraine. The tank they are operating is a T-72B-3M, the latest T-72 variant which began service around 2017. As seen here, the tank is fitted with large flat explosive reactive armour modules along the tank sides and relict explosive reactive armour around the turret and what looks like older Contact 5 second generation bricks on top of the turret. The tanks are missing their cage armour protection which normally covers rear parts of the hull and a small section on the rear of the turret. These were probably removed due to snagging issues in the confines of a forested area. The tank crew is supported by a reconnaissance unit using a spotter drone. The tank commander has received transmitted firing coordinates to target a building on the outskirts of a war damaged town. The tank commander is provided with a new panoramic sight with thermal vision and a fire control system which is interfaced with a Sosna U sighting system and a digital ballistic computer improving significantly firing accuracy. The tank retains the same 2A46M5 125mm smoothbore gun fitted to previous models. The T-72B3M, however, has suffered the same fate as many T-72 variants deployed in the war in Ukraine. Its improved armour basically developed to defend against rocket-propelled grenades is no match against the latest man-portable anti-tank missile systems such as the FGM-148 Javelin, which has been defeating Russian tanks by a top attack, hitting them from above where their armour is thinnest. It's believed the Russian forces have so far lost over 700 T-72 tanks, either destroyed, damaged, abandoned or captured by Ukrainian forces. Thank you. 